Welcome to the second part of the series on creating a Power BI report from Primavera for cost distribution and cumulative curves. In the previous video, we explored the planned distribution cost, and in this video, we will dive into the topics of earned value and forecasted cost distribution. It is important to emphasize that this video builds upon concept covered in the previous video. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend watching part one, as I won't be retreating those concepts in this video again. Let's get started. In Pramvera, the activity has two attributes. First, under baseline or planned value. Second, under update. Activity during baseline has only planned start and planned finish dates. But activities under update. First, you should have data date for the schedule. Some activities are not started and their dates are after the data date. Some activities has been completed and their actual dates are before data date. Other activities are in progress and have two parts. These activities are crossing data date. The part of the activity before data date has started and the other part has resumed date after the data date. Let's summarize the dates by activity status. First, activity status not started. Its actual start and actual finish are blanks. The remain start and remain finish are the forecasted dates. Activity status in progress. Its actual start has a value. Actual finish is blank. Remain start is a forecasted resume start date and remain finish is a forecasted finish date. Now I'll explain how to distribute earned value cost. As discussed previously, we will distribute earned value cost for the part of the schedule before the data date, which means the activities with status completed or in progress only. So first, we will filter activities based on the following criteria. Activity status doesn't equal not started. For defining the dates that we will use for the selected activities, start or ST will be the actual start for any selected activities. Completed FN, we have two cases here. For the activity with the status completed, FN will be actual finish. For the activities with the status in progress, FN will equal to data date. Now filtering the intervals. As explained in the planned distribution section, we will filter the interval of each activity based on the following criteria. Activity FN is greater than or equal to the start of the interval. Activity ST is less than or equal to the finish of the interval. By applying this filter to this completed activity as example. For interval one, activity actual finish is greater than interval start. This statement is true. Activity actual start is less than interval finish this statement is false. So this interval will be excluded. For intervals two, three, and four, activity actual finish is greater than interval start, true. Activity actual start is less than interval finish, true. Therefore, intervals two, three, and four are included. For interval five, activity actual finish is greater than interval start, false means that this interval will be excluded. So let's calculate the interval percentage. The interval percentage is equal to, as we discussed previously, minimum of month finish and FN minus max of M start and ST plus one divided by FN minus ST plus one. This percentage will be multiplied by the earned value to calculate the earned value cost for each interval. So by following these steps, we can accurately distribute earned value cost for the part of the schedule before the data date. 
Now let's create the earned value contribution. But before it, I want to define the data date. I will go to task table. As the exported file from Primavera doesn't contain this information. If I sort the remain start ascending, the minimum date in remain start 1st of September. From Primavera, I know that the data date is end of August. By sorting the remain start, the minimum date is 1st of September. Mean that the data date, it will be minimum of the remaining start in the task table minus one. Now let's go to the planned contribution. I will take copy from the DAX. Create new table and paste. Let me change the name now, earn value. Now I'll modify only the required statement. So before summarize, let me create variable for the data date var d date equal min x of all of task table comma remain start this will give me first of september minus one it will give me the data date and return summarize the filter it will be the same filter the same cross joint before this one the first condition i have is activity status is not equal not started so status activity status doesn't equal not start and the end i will change the planned finish with the new finish date if status activity status equal completed comma actual finish comma data date close greater than months started the same and planned start task i make it actual start in the summarize itself activity id okay wps id okay i will add here task status comma actual start actual finish earn it value and the same calendar and everything that's okay let me filter to activity to see the if it is applied correctly or not the filters en30 and st03 f10 i will sort the activity id see here en03 in progress it has actual start first of april and no finish date so it will be data date end of august so the intervals april may june july august for this activity completed start from 16 of may up to 10 of june so the interval it will be may and june perfect now let's create the column for the value the distribution value i will go to also for planned contribution this column i have created for the percentage let me take it as a copy and return back to earn value contribution new column paste let me change here earn it value monthly before this one let me add the data date as a variable again var d date equal also i'll add the finish date as a variable fnt equal activity status equal completed comma actual finish comma d date variable 
for start for actual start date and return let's review minimum of end months and planned finish I'll make it F N T the variable and planned start it will be st divided by planned finish F N T minus planned start st now I multiply it directly by earned value to get the to get the value one time perfect now let's explain how to calculate the forecasted cost distribution as explained before we have three types of activities completed activity in progress activity and not started activity as a forecasted value is based on in progress and not started activities so the first filter is to exclude completed activities i will use the remaining start and remaining finish for the in progress and not started activities so the part of the in progress activity before data date will be excluded so the case will be typical as blend value distribution by applying the filter activity finish greater than or equal interval start and activity start is less than interval finish intervals 1 and 6 will be excluded while the active intervals will be 2 3 4 and 5 let's apply the equation for the intervals so the forecasted value will be calculated based on budget cost minus earned value now for the forecasted value i will go to blend cost distribution i will take a copy from the dex create new table forecasted contribution the same filter the planned finish it will be remain finish the plan start it will be remain start remain remain start and this is remain finish after cost budget cost i will add also task earned value comma and that's all you can check about it it is okay let me add the value of the monthly value from blend i take the interval percentage copy in the forecast i will add new column paste forecasted monthly value equal all this planned i will make it one time control f2 i make it remain and enter this is the percentage multiply by budget cost minus earned value perfect now we have finished the calculation of my tables now we have the calculation for planned monthly distribution earned value monthly distribution and forecasted monthly distribution in the next video we will make one chart contains the distribution and cumulative curves stay tuned enjoy automation